All right, a shalom. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekakodash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, Wakasadim, Wabarakim. Peace, mercy, and blessings unto all of you, Sequanim, Wa'akim, to the elders, to the brothers, to the Bayafshal, Dawadai, the house of David, to all the hopeful elect. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists and he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer. All right. We are the Hebrew Israelites. All right. The Hebrew Israelites consist of 12 tribes. Today, we're being so-called black, African-American, Negro, Native American, Seminole Indian, Latin, Hispanic. But we actually make up the lost 12 tribes of Israel. And here in these last days, Yahweh Shemel Shah is waking up and still in his elect from all 12 of the tribes of Israel. All right. In America, is Babylon the Great. That is Satan's kingdom. All right. And I saw this video on uh, TikTok. You know, it's very, very spiritual. You know, and I believe these, uh, you know, this father and daughter to be, they're not from this country. All right. They're not from America, but. You know, they, they found out that there's a town called Satan's Kingdom in America. Okay. But here in these last days, what we're finding out is that Satan's Kingdom is America. It shouldn't say in. It should say is. You know, USA under Satan's authority. Okay. So I'm going to play this video, uh, bring out some articles and some precepts. I pray that this be edifying. Okay, so first you have to go to Massachusetts in America, which is here. Okay. Then I went to this place, and then I saw this river. Okay. The, the, and what's the number ninety one? Um. Yeah. It's near. It's near. Um. It's near the number ninety one. Route ninety one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, route ninety one. That's here. Okay. And after. Then okay. after zoom out a bit and go to this river. Okay. Then after go to New York, Northfield. Then look, we'll see it. Satan's Kingdom. Satan's Kingdom. Wait, that's one of them. Where's the other one? The other one is um, Southern here. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is America, right? Yeah, in America. Okay, so um, let's look at some of these comments. It says, I live in Massachusetts and can confirm it feels like hell on earth. <laughs> okay, so this is what the, uh, you know, the locals are, are saying about this place, man. Not the only one. All of our forests have weird demonic underlining, like the devil's backbone, for example. And I noticed myself, you know, there's a there's a, there's a place called um, Sodom Hill out here, man. Which we know Sodom means burning. Uh, excuse me, Sodom Mountain. Okay, That's the, the street is fucking called Sodom Mountain. Okay, so this is truly. Satan's playground. Then you have uh, Salem, Massachusetts, the witch trials, right? Washington, D.C. roads make a pentagram. It says, well, Salem is in Massachusetts, too, which is known for the Salem, um, you know, the Salem witch trials, man. You know? We are New Babylon. No, America is Babylon the Great. We're all over America. So here in these last days, you know, certain people are starting to see but damn, this is Satan's kingdom and this is Babylon, you know? But you have, you know, men who call themselves Israelites saying that Babylon is the Vatican. <laughs> you see? It says, no wonder it feels so negative right when you're into mass. Glad we move out of there. Okay? So yeah, the, the, these witches, these elites... You know, there's there's high satanic left hand energy, okay, and then they're throwing up curses and you know, putting spells out there and uh, you know, it's, it's it's heavy enchantments going out, man. You know, heavy heavy enchantments, okay. And this is why we have to, um, and I speak as a man for myself first and foremost. You know, we have to walk circumspectly, man. And understand where the hell we at, you know, because, you know, sometimes you can, uh, you know, you may have been sipping or, you know, whatever you may have been doing. And um, the, the most I remind you of fuck you at, man, you realize that you are in uh, Satan's kingdom, you know, 
And actually, let's get this, man. Let's get this in Job. This is the book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Now, we know the wicked, you know, goes into the so-called white man, the elites, starting with the elites, the so-called uh, 1%, you know, what's known to the scriptures there, Amalek, Edom. They're the wicked, man. The scriptures call them the, the wicked. They're known as the wicked. The scripture says, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. They have been given the earth right now. All right, pursuant to the blessing that Isaac gave Esau. Okay, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? He covered the faces of the judges um, by whitewashing, you know, by, by, by telling lies. Okay, uh, when you go to Revelation 11, which I know the Spirit's going to have me get, it says where also our Lord was crucified, meaning they tried to destroy our power, man and destroy any knowledge of us and connection of us with our power. You know, it's Psalms 83. Let us cut them off from being a nation. So it's cut us off from being a nation, which cuts off our connection to how by Shemiel Shire, nationality, our language, the name, okay? Knowing, um, knowing how the heavenly father and the son looks, all right? Understanding that the apostles, the, uh, the prophets were... Uh, people of color, so to speak. Yeah, man, it's, 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 it's uh, very demonic out here. Okay, and as we get closer and closer to the end, things are only going to wrap up. So we, you know, and I speak for myself first and foremost, we have to make the necessary adjustments to uh, finish this race. You know, whether that be being more hard on yourself, you know, uh, acid, not drinking or working out more, dieting, you know, we can all be better. You know, we can all make adjustments in our lives to, to be better. You know, this is from End Time Headlines. It says, perverse spirits are taking up a stronghold in America. <laughs> all right, and this says, opinion. Unless you've been living under a rock somewhere, you probably notice how fast our culture is deteriorating and becoming something many of us older saints have never experienced in our lifetimes, which the saints are Israelites. Okay, it says the good old days of wholesome and uplifting traits that we once experienced in America are nearly impossible to see anymore. The once lighthearted, fun for the whole family stories are far from the new tele from new in television today. Okay, it says early classics we grew up on watching like the Andy Griffin Show, Leave It to Beaver, Leave It to Beaver, and later sitcoms like Full House and Family Matters were once the center of the family community. And the positive light have been replaced with sitcoms and programs filled with openly gay, bisexual, and gender fluid characters trotted as a new norm in programming. Along this, we also see everything from movies to children's programming that openly promote Satanism, demonic possession, and perversion. Okay? It's fucking Satan's kingdom, man. And this, this is the wine that's being, that's being pushed out here. And all to the rest of the world. Right? All, all all the rest of the world is seeing this shit, man. Okay? And this is shameful spewing. The nations are seeing it, man. It says, one example is Disney, which is now openly promoting the alphabet propaganda without even hiding it anymore with endless rollouts of programming filled with this content. But now they have even gone a step further with their latest installment on Disney Plus that will actually feature a teen who falls in love with the devil and gets pregnant. Okay, that's all I'm going to read. This article is kind of, as you can see, you know, it's, it's lengthy. You know, but if you want to check that out, endtimeheadlines.org, perverse spirits are taking up a stronghold in America. So that's, <laughs> so that's that right there, man. So check this out. First target, now Cole's alphabet pride clothing for babies being pushed at many perverted American retailers. So they won't just stop with adults, they're after your children. Because the scripture says, train up a child and the, while they're young, roughly paraphrasing, and when they're old, they shall not depart. You know? So what this devil is doing, is he's going after your children, man. Teaching them about, you know, uh, gender fluidity and 
and sex at a young age and the whole alphabet agenda, man. Okay? So Yahweh Bashem Yoshai has to destroy this place. In fact, this is Babylon the Great. Okay? Check this out. Babylon means confusion. This society is a society of a great confusion, man. Everywhere you go, the laws are different. You know, there's different jurisdiction. It's totally confusion here, man. Okay? Zero hedge. Trans rights means trans entitlement and the end of civil society. Okay? A civil society is a community of individuals who are linked together by common interests and activities, which that's not here. That's not here in America. All right? Everybody's divided. The scripture says the house divided shall not stand. Common interests include being able to walk the streets safely, peace, and to exercise such rights as freedom of speech, individual freedom. These shared interests allow common activities to flourish, including commerce and education of children. Civil society is possibly only because most people want to live it securely, to protect their loved ones, and prosper. Okay? And uh, something else I want to point out. There's, there's statues of, of uh, idols here, actual demons. All right? If you go back, you know, trans rights and... Uh, Perverse spirits and alphabet that goes back to the, to the spirit of Baphomet, a, a very high level demon, man. Okay, and there's a satanic temple. They put a uh, statue of Bop Baphomet at the Arkansas Capitol. There's also one at the Detroit. Uh, uh, there's also one in Detroit, man. Okay, there, there's churches of Satan in America. Okay. This, this is where we at, man. And that's why the scripture says, come out of her, my people, man. All right? Not actually saying that we can leave here. Hey, a lot of us are not in the position to. And we don't have to for the Lord to deliver us. The Lord's going to deliver his elect from everywhere. Okay? This is Isaiah 19 and 14. The Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahushua, had mingled a perverse, perverse meaning wicked, upside down, twisted in the spirit in the midst thereof. And they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunken man staggered in his vomit. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt. And there's, there's uh, talks of more store closures, right? Retail apocalypse, AI taking people's jobs, and just a lot of people being furloughed and out of work. And uh, homeless and, and jobless and getting ready to lose everything. Okay? Which the head, tail, branch, or rush may do. And that day shall Egypt be likened unto woman and shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of Yahweh Hashem Yoshai of hosts, which he shake it over. And that's what the Lord's going to do. Yahweh Hashem Yoshai getting ready to plague America, which is, uh, which has the spirit of Egypt and Sodom. That's Revelation 11. Okay? Uh, this is Ephesians chapter 5 at verse 15 it says see then that you walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise right and uh, and part of that is knowing the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai trusting and calling upon the name understanding what you're around and the demonic forces that you're up against because you can't you can't deal with Satan and, and these demons. This is why we have to call them all we're in, we're in the flesh. You know? Flesh how are you gonna fight against the spirit? Which is why we have to pray, you know, we have to ask for prayer, you know, and we have to uh go back to these scriptures. You know, every before you do anything, man, before you go anywhere, you should pray. You know, prayer is Prayer is going to be, prayer is one of the weapons, man. Okay? And we're in a war, right? That reminds me of the movement, the Matrix. You know, the only weapon they pretty much had against those machines, they had to, like, hit a switch when the machines got close enough and then they'll fucking drop. Well, for us, that's like calling upon the name of Yahweh Hashem Shai and being fervent in prayer, you know? says redeeming the time because the days are evil and these, these are very evil days you can feel it right now we feel you know everything may seem okay we're in the calm before the storm 
but you can there's an eerie feeling that shit is about to hit the fan, you know. It says, Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of Yahweh by Shai is. Alright, and that's for the hopeful elect to occupy till the most high comes, man. Okay? And be not drunk with wine. We're in this excess, but filled with the spirit. And that, that wine is called liquor, wine, and spirits, man. You know, you can drink, spirits can hop on you, and you can make unwise decisions. That's what that's most likely what happens when you when you drink and you you know, you drink and you drink. You do something unwise, man. Okay? And now it's not the time for that. Especially knowing where we at. Um, and I speak for myself first and foremost, man. You know? This is Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. Finally, my brother, be strong in Yahweh by Shemiel Shai and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh by Shemiel Shai that you may be able to stand against the walls of the double walls goes into trickery, deceit, uh, deception. Okay, which there's a lot of that out here. Okay, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's not. It's not a. a it's not a carnal battle, all right? But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. It's a spiritual battle, man. Okay. Spiritual battle. It says, Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, take in the shield of faith. We gotta believe. Weapons hey Romans, man, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Okay? Belief. Faith. It's impossible to please Yah by Shemel Shah without faith. It says above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, because you best believe they're throwing darts at us, man. You alright? And those darts, they never really stop coming. You know? They never really stop. This is why we can't stop. You know, can't stop, won't stop. Because these these demons, they're not gonna stop, man. The darts are not gonna stop coming. So you always got to have that shield up, man. All right. 17, it says, And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. All right. Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. It says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. And their dead bodies, the their, 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 they're speaking about the Israelites. It says their dead bodies, you know, our people are spiritually dead out here. You know, that's why you have female pastors teaching, snatching their wigs off. That's why you have men who even claim to be Israelites saying that um, only cowards use wisdom. You know, because they're, they're dead, okay? And uh, shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. So that's where we're at, man. We're in Satan's kingdom, spiritual Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified, meaning to be uh, crossed out or to try to do away with. So that's what the New World Order is all about, man, you know? Strong's G, 4717, Starao, Starao. You go to the metaphor, it says, to the crucify the flesh, to destroy its power utterly. And that's what they want to do. They want to destroy the power of these scriptures, okay? They want to, the, uh, they want you going to the scriptures, man. They don't want you quoting scriptures. I seen one video where a guy, they arrested him for handing out Bibles, you know? So pretty soon we won't be able to, um, there's going to be a book burning again, just like there was in ancient Greece. When Antiochus came against the children of Israel, he, he burned the, the books of the law, man. Okay? What's the book of the law? The scriptures. So they're going to come and try to take these, these scriptures, all right, because they want to destroy its power utterly, man. Okay? But the elect, 
you know, pretty much like walking backwards out here, man. Now, I'm not saying that we have it, you know, the the new bodies, because with the new bodies, we're not going to sin anymore. But what I'm saying is, you know, the Lord, you know, we've been reading these scriptures. We we know most, we pretty much know the scriptures, man. You know, we, we know what's going to happen during the hour of temptation. Um, some of us can be apprehended, maybe put to death, you see. But yeah, man, just wanted to do a a quick video on that. Um, pray that this has been edifying. I'm gonna wrap it up. I wanna give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakudash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect.